Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of The Hot Seat, a wireless design and development interview series where we talk about the latest wireless technologies, components, and design issues for the wireless design engineering community. Today we are speaking with Josh Miner, the Director of Product Management, LAN Mobile for Iridium Communications. Josh is responsible for LAN mobile products including Iridium satellite phones, personal communications devices, and data transceivers. He plays an instrumental role in building Iridium's LAN mobile business and oversees market research, new product requirements, life cycle management, and driving growth of Iridium handsets. Josh also launched the new product portfolio including the Iridium Extreme and brought Iridium Access Point to market. Today, Josh will be discussing the Iridium Go, a new personal satellite hotspot. Welcome, Josh. For my first question, I was wondering, what events led to the Iridium Go, and how is it unique from traditional satellite platforms? Uh, and first of all, thanks, Megan, for uh, having me. Uh, it's nice to meet you. And um, this is really a completely new product category for the industry. Um, it's really the first portable, um, global, personal cell tower for your smartphone so it's really exciting because it works literally anywhere on the planet and it takes the devices you carry with you every day and allows them to work uh, literally everywhere um, and as far as the events that, that led to uh, the creation of this product we've been working on this for about three years it's, it's really the evolution of um, a product that we originally introduced called Iridium Access Point uh, which provided a Wi-Fi hotspot when connected to uh, a satellite phone. Um, what we've done is we've really combined all that into a product that is incredibly small. Here's the device right here. Um, fits in your hand, fits in your pocket, and this makes your smartphone uh, work everywhere. Um, and you know, as far as uh, you know, what's unique from traditional satellite platforms, I think that the part that it's you know, it works. Uh, everywhere on the planet is very unique. Um, also, our, our network is very close to Earth. Um, so the type of phone calling experience you have is very natural um, because the, uh, the delay is very short because the satellites are, are so close. Uh, and also the fact that it's, it's so small and, and so portable, um, I think, really sets it apart. And thank you for giving us a view on what it actually looks like because I was kind of confused on what the Iridium Go actually is. So can you maybe discuss some of the technology behind it and explain if it attaches to other devices, um, if it's kind of like something that you can maybe retrieve through an app or something like that. Um, can you just maybe break down some of the main components and explain actually how it works? Um, so I showed the device earlier. Um, this is the product, which it's pretty amazing how small it is, considering that it's connecting with satellites that are um, orbiting the planet. We have 66 satellites that provide 100% um, pole to pole coverage. And this is connecting with a satellite, which will um, go overhead. And what it does is it, it manages the connection to the satellites, and then it extends that connection to a smartphone. And the part that makes a link is something that everybody's very familiar with which is is Wi-Fi um, so it creates a Wi-Fi hotspot and allows the user to use their smartphone or tablet naturally like they would in the office or in their home but they could be in the middle of the ocean they could be in the North Pole they could be on the top of Mount Everest um, literally anywhere in the planet and they're using their smartphone or tablet just like they are at home um, the other part that's, that's um, a piece of the, the uh, solution is the application. You mentioned that earlier. Um, so there's an application that's downloaded. We have um, iOS and also Android, which will be coming out with the product uh, once it's introduced in, um, in the second quarter. That's when we'll commercially be shipping the product. And so what the customer will do is they'll buy the Iridium Go product, um, they'll go on to either the App Store or to Google Play. Um, they'll download the application. It's a free app. Um, it goes under their smartphone. And really what it does is it, it manages the connection um, from the user's smartphone to the Iridium Go and then connects them from anywhere in the world to anywhere in the world. And they can use the types of applications that they're used to every day, but they're optimized for satellites. So they can do phone calling. They're able to 
um, access their own contacts from their smartphone um, so they can um, make a call, receive a call. Um, additionally, they can send text messages. Um, so it's a like a chat style interface where uh, when they send a message, it goes into um, to a chat style um, a place in the application so they can see the, the history. Um, they can also post updates on popular social networking um, sites, so like Twitter and, and Facebook. Um, so that's, that's the Iridium Go application. We also do have an additional application which we're bundling in for free, which is the uh, Iridium Mail and Web app. And that allows them to fetch email um, so they can get their Gmail, their Yahoo, um, and it imports it um, into the application. So what it does is it makes it so they, they have a very efficient use of the satellite. We use compression and, and acceleration um, to make it so they can um, send and receive up to 15 emails per minute. Uh, so it's actually very fast because it is, um, it, it's really focusing on the, the text and kind of the content of the message. But um, through, through compression and resizing of, of images as an example, you can either take a picture or uh, choose from an existing picture and uh, send it over our network in about two minutes, either to an email contact or uh, post it on your Facebook. Um, so when you put that into perspective and the, and the fact that you can do that anywhere on the planet and send it to anywhere on the planet, uh, it's a really, really powerful product. That's the product piece of it. The other piece of it is that it's also a platform. Um, so we've um, opened up the um, architecture so developers can interface with the product and they can build special applications for it. Um, so whether it be a consumer application like a buddy finder, so people that would be uh, out remote areas could find each other, um, connecting over the Iridium satellite network, or um, a corporate application like um, submitting forms um, for remote truck drivers, or um, even like an aviation application where uh, they could be um, connecting and getting weather information, which would be important to them um, in midair. Those are the types of things that developers can do using this as a, as a platform. So who would you say are your main targeted industries then and markets? Um, I think it's really probably about four target industries. Um, we are very um, popular with enterprise, government, um, as well as military. I think this, this product certainly expands us into um, the individual target for high-end adventurers or um, global travelers, um, and I, I think I think one of the areas that, that I think will will get a lot of interest in this is um, for people that are traveling internationally and roaming. Um, the the international roaming charges can be in many areas up to four dollars a minute, and that can get very expensive, especially like on cruise ships. You know, it can be two dollars and fifty cents or three dollars a minute. This product, which fits in your pocket and works everywhere, um, it's one rate worldwide um, and it's about a dollar a minute anywhere in the planet and we have um, bundled packages where uh, they could get airtime that they could use over a year so if somebody's traveling frequently uh, like somebody that does cruises or um, travels internationally um, to areas where there's high international roaming charges um, or remote areas where there's no coverage at all um, this is a very portable product that they can take with them it works with the smartphone that they have and uh, they can do all the great types of services that they have um, at, at a very affordable rate. And can you ex discuss any limitations if Iridium Go does have limitations um, when connecting consumers who are off the grid? So we've targeted the, the most popular um, operating system platforms. Uh, we're supporting um, Apple iOS as well as uh, Android. Um, other platforms like BlackBerry and Windows Mobile, the API that we have for developers will support those. Um, so a, a developer could create those, but those are not applications that we're providing out of the gate. Um, so as far as limitations goes, uh, if a BlackBerry user or um, Windows Mobile user wanted to use the device, um, it, what they could do is use maybe if they had a tablet or um, an iPad or something that they, they have, because many people have different devices um, in their collections, um, so they may not be able to use um, their smartphone, but they could probably use a, you know, one of the tablets that they have um, in their homes. Um, so that would be one uh, limitation. I think the other um, piece of this is that 
this is a product that works off of Wi-Fi. Um, the range is is up to 100 feet, and um, I think one of the the other aspects of it that I, I didn't mention earlier was that this is a product that actually can be shared, um, and it can be shared with up to five people. So. Um, a group of, of campers could go and each person could download the application and share um, the hotspot and uh, be connected and um, but the way that it works is that one person can actually post or make a call and we have call management tools that are inside of the application that helps them um, manage that connection um, so I, I think that's that's one of the other aspects of it but um, I think one thing that I think really sets this product apart as because of having that Wi-Fi connection, this is really the, the first opportunity that we've had to extend the Iridium network um, indoors or over an, an underhang um, because this um, products traditionally in satellite have to either be pointed towards the satellite or, or in a very open area. I think one of the things that's um, pretty interesting about this product is that somebody that's on a boat or uh, in a cabin can set this outside and use their smartphone indoors um, so I think I think that's one of the, the new and interesting use cases that satellite will will have uh, with this product and for my final question Josh in what ways is it going to expand the market for MSS I, I think it's really the, the flexibility um, because this can be used for so many different customer uses whether it's it's uh, a business um, installing it in their remote fleet of trucks um, providing in-cab connectivity or, or submitting forms um, or extending this to a high-end adventurer allowing them to um, share a connection with um, their fellow um, hikers and being able to, to post updates um, I think it's really up to the imagination of the people that um, buy the device as well as the application developers uh, that create new and interesting um, ways to get information while in remote areas. So the, the feedback that we're hearing from customers that are testing it um, as well as the, the developers that are creating applications about it is that uh, it's just incredibly flexible. Um, so I think we'll see this product used in, in satellite technology used in ways that we never thought were, were possible just because of the, the robustness of the product and the platform. Well, those are all the questions I had for you today, Josh. Is there anything else that you would like to add or comment on that you believe is important for our viewers to know? Uh, we're just really excited about bringing this product to market. Uh, we've been uh, working on it now for several years. Um, you know, it's gone through several iterations, and you know, we was really excited to release the product in early February. And uh, once it starts coming out in Q2, uh, I'm just really excited to see the different applications which are going to be uh, available out in the marketplace and we're going to be um, displaying all those applications on iridium.com um, so as we work with developers we're going to help them market uh, the different applications which are available so as uh, people are, are checking out the product on uh, iridium.com and seeing the product videos and uh, understanding more about the features and capabilities um, I think the things that's going to be really exciting is seeing the imagination of the developers and and what they create for this and uh, we'll create awareness of those by putting those on um, iridium.com in our app section. Um, so I think that's that's the part which which I'm really excited about is um, seeing how people use this and um, seeing the stories and photographs and, and applications as they um, develop after we've uh, started shipping this product. I would like to thank you, Josh, for joining us today on WDD's Hot Seat and talking about the Iridium Go. For WDD, I'm Megan Zimma, and I'll see you next time in the Hot Seat.